please. Don't patronise me or tell me what I need to do. Thank you very much. Please. I don't like that. And today's springtime fashion is being modelled by Anthea Turner. Dear two, 9.22 a.m. The six celebrity housemates wake up after their first night in the Big Brother house. The grill army makes some scrambled eggs on toast. Yesterday, the group nominated Chris Eubank and Anthea Turner for eviction. This evening, they'll discover who the public has voted to be the first out of the house. Did you find it very hard doing your own makeup for Wish You Were Here? No. Hair and makeup? I. I never really. You know, all those. Yeah, Blue Peter and all the children's television, you yeah. never have a makeup artist. Right. So. Did you wash her? What? Did you just wash your hair? Did you wash your hair just now? It's lovely. Yeah, yeah lovely and pretty. If I decide to wash mine tomorrow, I might need all hands to the pump okay. to cope with even drying it. Yeah, including all three hair dryers blazing and all of us. I've now. got that tough one here, that industrial size hair dryer. <laughs> Mid-morning. The group makes soup for lunch with vegetables from the garden. And Chris gives Vanessa a lesson in Jamaican patois. What about right. whining? Isn't whining mean sexy dancing? This. Why, exactly. So, yeah. so tell us something like what a way the boy can whine. I thought we had a boy can whiney. Did that again, think, Chris? No, the girl, the girl, the girl. <laughs> I thought we had a shaky and whiney because this girl yeah. is, the girl, the girl thing is this. Exactly. <laughs> 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 Keith brought weights into the house as one of his luxury so, items. What, what do you want to learn? Uh, this this is rewinding. Oh, we're doing some this exercises. This is a little teddy bee. Yay! What's that? That's it. Yeah. <laughs> That's more fun than that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. It's this one, though. Yeah. <laughs> You gonna make out some words? Like me words. Whiny, 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 whiny. I go whiny with you. <laughs> Today is shopping day. As well as the basics in the storeroom and the vegetables in the garden, the group has one pound fifty per person per day to spend on food. Their total budget is forty-five pounds, and they have an hour to write their shopping list. Why don't so we work backwards and work out and see how much the wine is and therefore how much money <laughs> that leaves us for left. food the other way around? Yeah. Could do. Could we? Well, you know what you get? You should get a the big two litre bottle of cider. That, isn't that what they did here last time? Yeah. They did, they did That's drink the best cider. Way. Terms of... Beggars can't be chosen and cider goes a long way, do you know what I mean? Well, I'm, I'm going to be the upper one out here now and we'll cause some trouble now. I can't believe that. The course. alcohol you're drinking yeah. is giving you an escape route. I don't have an escape route, so I think you should not escape and stay here with me and be sober. No, but you're in the minority, Chris. And you're often asleep. Yeah. No, I'm not. No, I'm you're not. often asleep, I'm not. escaping I... in your own personal way, as you say, into your own personal private way. Well, why don't you join you us and so? drink? Yeah, you Chris, say so yourself. How Chris, can just you here tell the whole majority to get with enough. you? <laughs> because, I'm, because I'm not drinking, I can't get into that. Um... You don't need I'm to, because you're there already. Have a drink. Have a drink. Where, 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 where am I? You, you, you... There? Do you know what I mean? Do you think this? Yeah, I mean. No, well, well, yeah, we'll live in my world for a little while. We do when we've had a drink. We do. <laughs> <laughs> At lunch, the conversation turns to parenting techniques. Joseph, my Joseph is four years old, yeah? yeah. If he, if he, like, scratch, he scratches the wallpaper, I mean, he's a monster, OK? Now, he'll stand there and I'll say, listen, if you don't lie, there's no problem. It's when you lie, then th there's a problem. Mm -hmm. And he'll say, it was me. And then what will you do? Oh, no. Do nothing. I said, see, once you own up. Why don't you just stop him <laughs> scratching the wall? For no, you're not, no, no, no. Because not kid. everything's about lying. Something's he's about don't scratch the wall, isn't no, it? No, no, but he's a kid. He said, don't, don't, don't scratch the wall, but don't he's lie. Because if you, if you lie, cheating. that's the problem. When you don't lie, it's not a problem, it's just a mistake. 2 or 9 pm. The debate continues. You're telling, us, you're telling me, let the child do what he wants to do. Don't suppress Listen, the child from doing it. Just agree to disagree. You both have different ways of bringing your kids up. You both have different I'm saying, views that you I'm just, just, you don't, you don't, don't like each other. Oh, no, well, 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 I'm just bringing out a common sense idea. And punish them for yeah. like depriving well, them of what it means to each other. Punish them, come into us. Don't lie, and you won't, and you won't be punished. It's like a veiled threat. But it's not about 
lying when a child dra draws on a wall? Well, like well, well, if, if, the kid, if the kid will tell you no, I didn't, that's a lie. Yeah, why does he tell you no, he didn't? Why? You're, because you're... I'm, don't no, you think, no. But don't you think, ultimately, the world is you a need hideously to, you, tough place? Then, then I thought, don't patronise me or tell me what I need to do, thank you very much. Please. I don't like that. 2.45 p.m. During their steer, the group are given tasks. Big Brother has asked each of them to customise a pair of pants for one of their fellow housemates. Later, they'll perform a fashion show with their creations. What does V stand for, Jack? Uh, it's for <laughs> someone around this table, Chris. Vanessa, OK. <laughs> <laughs> Anthea is designing pants for Keith. Big Brother calls her to the diary room. This says Vanessa to me. <laughs> In a very big way. Oh, you're pretty right. Could you show Big Brother your pants and see who they're for? <clears throat> right, these are for Keith. That's the back view. And um, I'm working on the front. I've got a little sort of warmy thing to put on the front, should he get cold. And he's out wearing them. And these are sort of little ties, because I think that really... He's always said himself, he sort of he can get into trouble and, and you might occasionally need to rein him back. So this is, these are Keith's pants, so you can rein him in if you need to. Yeah, they fall down to the 15, 20 hours. What? <laughs> 15, 20. How much do you use? This is Big Brother. Jack, would you please bring your pants to the dining room? Summertime. Yeah, you wouldn't There's a lot going on Big there. braces, aren't they? These are if we need to hold on to. <laughs> Fantastic. These are for uh, Vanessa. And why did you choose those pants? Um, because I thought they'd fit her. The box is about, um, it's got five eggs in it, and they represent the other people in the house. Um, and uh, Vanessa's very maternal, I think, and so she sort of holds all these eggs close to her womb. Is there anything else you'd like to say about the pants? Uh, only that I'm very proud of them. 5.02 p.m. Anthea is still working on her pants, and Jack is making bread. It's not nice, as you said, you said yesterday, when they're out there and you're going in here and they're, like, waving you off. I dreamt about that last night, on the standing on the bridge, waving. You dreamt around it. You dreamt about, about it. it. You're I such a Stephen. drama queen, I can't believe you. I say my dreams are dramatic. I'm terrified, that was terrified. I think that's very fair. You're dead what? dramatic as well. No, no, I'm not. Take vast exception no. to that, actually. No. You say you're not dramatic, get off. Wait, wait, then, where am I dramatic? Well, damn time. When? When you've got to give me when you speak, you stand up to add emphasis to it. You march around. You carry a silly old cane when you're only walking from that room into that room. How dramatic is that? That's not dramatic. Yes, That's we all put our pajamas on, you put a caftan on and come on. Exactly. Like this. Yeah, but hold on, hold on. I think it's a treat amongst what? some Jewish girls. Oh my god. No, no, no. You maybe you know, I always see oh you go. Oh my god, oh, watch oh. out, darling. No, 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 it's not. <laughs> Still me fucking head in. Can I help you? Hold on, listen, look. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, am I right in saying there's a lot no. of girls like you who are Jewish no. who, are get, who get very dramatic? No. I read this book before I came in um, about how communities um, behave, like communities like this. So what happens is pseudo communities, everyone's being very polite and nice to each other, very cooperative, but it's kind of a, it's kind of best behavior type thing and then something will happen that spin it into chaos like this not quite like this but when we had the row here Vanessa and, and Chris going to each other and that turned the whole thing into chaos everyone started running around really fast did you notice it's like everyone's going um all <coughs> right you know like this okay and then it all calmed down we had a nice afternoon of just you know everyone just being able to do stuff together but it'll be a, it'll keep repeating that cycle. This will, you'll... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not really. Well, what it's is not, it? It's not racial and it's not religious. Well, what is it? It's just um, a trait. What I, you know, I pay good money to watch is Vanessa and Chris locked in this place. For on the last two months. The last two on the room. <laughs> but even did the last what two. What we should all do is say we want to leave. Just leave Because we think it would be funnier.
What about the bathroom? No, bathroom's off limits. Well, can we just... Drop it. Six or nine p.m. Big Brother has told the group to start their fashion show. Vanessa has made pants for Anthea. And today's springtime fashion is being modelled by Anthea Turner. You will see the pants she's wearing reflect her personality. We have flowers because she's sweet. We have hearts because she's lovable. We have bows because she's very pretty and a girly girl. The general theme is pink and pretty, just like Miss Turner herself, as you will see. Chris is modelling pants designed by Claire. Now, Chris is wearing white boxer shorts, very artistically designed by myself. Sequin blue eyes, a nice red nose, strategically placed, with a little bit of, with a little bit of red fluff, with his signature on the back, Chris Eubank 2001. Now, here we have Claire. Beautiful, tall are. shoes, beautiful um, jock strap, I mean. Um, <laughs> G-string. G-string. <laughs> what a beautiful cross now, where the heart is, is where the heart really is. Oh, baby, oh, hey. A round of applause for the beautiful lady Claire. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, next up in the spring collection, we have Jackety D. Oh. Jackety D is wearing, he's wearing a bit of an Asian number. He starts off with this beautiful cumber band that he wore to his first debutant's ball. Go take Just in case he forgets his initials, they're on his ass cheeks. It's uh, <laughs> GD for Jack D or Jack Daniel. And then, um, ladies and gentlemen, would you please give it up for Mr. Jack D? Yeah. <laughs> straight into where we have a little warmer there to keep one of the most important things on his body nice and warm. Yeah. And, there you go. and finally, I'm Vanessa is modelling a specially made pair of uh, underpants. They are bomb-proof and they reflect uh, Vanessa's ability to deal with explosive situations in the house. The box attachment at the front is uh, filled with five eggs. Now, the eggs represent some of the five things that we're trying to raise money for at Comic Relief. Yeah. They represent clean water and uh, food, shelter, education, and, of course, medicine for the third world. So that's what this all represents. And it's for Comic Relief. Well done, Vanessa. Thank you. As a reward for their show, Big Brother plays Westlife's Comic Relief single into the house. Hello, Jack. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> it's all very funny, um, and I didn't mind doing it. I just need to know if I still have a career, OK? Um, if you could come back to me on that. Big Brother will get back to you. Thank you so much. 9.45 p.m. The phone lines have closed. The public have voted for the first person they want to leave the Big Brother house. It's gone really cold, hasn't it? It's gone really cold. It's cold because we're all stressed to fucking bits. I think, bit. that's 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 I think our um, thank you. This is Big Brother. The first person to leave the Big Brother house will be Chris. Farmers, but you'll be sorely, sorely missed. Very sorely okay, missed. Tough. Great, yeah, great fun. Yeah, nice to get to know you. Yeah, amazing. Well, we'll do it again, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look after yourself. What you need to find out when you get out there is just how much between us, you and I, <laughs> get raised. Ray. It will ladies. make us feel better. He's the most entertaining man I've ever met. What? What did you say? <laughs> what? He says he's the most, most entertaining, entertaining man I've ever met. Absolutely extraordinary. I'd be lost without him. 
It's and I just say that nobody could prepare themselves for any of this, and certainly if there's anybody that can deal with this better than the rest of us, it's him. You're right. Am I fast? Yeah. So what, they're gonna, what are we going to do when, we, when, when, we, uh, when he goes? You and I were arguing today. It's really, discon really disconcerted everyone, apparently. Really? It didn't disconcert me at all. Neither did it me. It really didn't. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I uh, said so did I. They, someone said we were getting a little heated, but I thought... Well, I didn't realise we were getting particularly heated. It was only an argument. I thought it was just a verbal, verbal sparring. So I yeah. imagine I might be the next out, because I think I might be seen as very troublesome. Right. But obviously, for them, it didn't... It seemed much too passionate and too mm. furious and too... Mm. You know, but that's not what either you or I intended, is it? Well, no, I mean, no. I intended to actually stick by my point. Me too. You, you so did I. I intended right. not to give an inch, that's to right. dig my heels in. Well, that's, and that, <laughs> that, is, that is what discussions are about. Exactly. OK. I'll see you soon. OK, go ahead. OK. Five, <laughs> four... Chris, will you please leave the Big Brother house? Uh, brilliant. One day in the house and uh, fantastic. Fantastic fun. Very relaxed. Um, not as much pressure as, um, well, everybody else has seen a bit of pressure, but um, I was kind of like eager with it, you know, I fought for a living. But a fantastic time. Now, the British public voted you out. Do you have a message for them, Chris? Uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to entertain you for one night. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> Ten fifty six PM. Half an hour after Chris has left, the group are asked to nominate for a second time. They each have to name two people for their next eviction. Right. Tell <laughs> everybody. Would Vanessa please come to the dining room? Yes. No lipstick. I can't believe I'm being pieces to camera with no lipstick on. <laughs> <laughs> I have decided that sisters should be doing it for themselves and it's very, very important that we girls stick together and stick up for each other. That's just my feeling about it. So, although I think the boys are fantastic and they're really great, they're marvellous cooks and will probably starve to death if they get thrown out, um, I would like to nominate Keith, Duffy and Jack D. Last for something like yeah, six yeah. months. And they painted their lips, well, so every morning... <laughs> <laughs> Give it the look of that walk. swagger. Lovely. Hey, Lovely walk. Shimmy. First of all, I'd, I'd like to say um, I thought Chris was brilliant tonight. Very brave. And I know I nominated him last night, but he's an absolute gem. I'd like to nominate Vanessa because I nominated Anthea last night. Well, it's a game, it's a bit of fun. And Jack because I want to do the cooking. I want to be in charge of the cooking. That's good. My first nomination is for Vanessa because uh, she keeps bleating on about what a good cause this is and it's getting on my nerves. And uh, her hair extensions are falling out and they keep turning up in the cooking. Um, and my second nomination is Anthea, because she's just too jolly by half, and um, she got nominated last time, so I thought it would be quite funny to do it again. Keith and Anthea each have one nomination. Jack and Vanessa both have two. Keith is next into the diary room. <laughs> Say, she says it's it's practically impossible. These people are great people. I'm honoured to be in the same house with them. I'm honoured to have met them, to spend this kind of time with them. So, um, 
Tonight, I'm going to nominate Jack because he, he's not helping matters. So I've just tried to cheer everybody up. I've just tried to kind of shout around. So come on, we're supposed to have a bit of fun. And he's there playing faced. Moving along. I, think, I don't know whether I'd be doing Vanessa a favour to nominate Vanessa because I feel that she's been quite emotional today and she's had a couple of run-ins with Chris, I think, that might have affected her. Not because I want to, because I've no other choice. Um, this evening, I'm going to be nominating Vanessa. Right, that's it. We're all out. Seems... I can think this is funny now. I'm going to nominate um, Keith and Jack because yeah. I'm sharing a room with two girls um, who I'm, I'm actually very fond of, become very fond of. And I, I'm, I'm just going for... I'm looking after the girls. Jack and Vanessa will now be put to the public vote. One of them will be evicted from the house on Monday. The group do not yet know who has been nominated. 2.59 a.m. Vanessa has been in bed for 40 minutes. Anthea, Claire and Keith try out the hot tub Big Brother has provided. You look about 12, you know that? <laughs> I can't believe you're four. Jesus Christ. Okay. Hopefully, you ate the elbow with this. Get out. Get out. You dig it in a hole. Get out. There's concrete here. I'm kind of hovering just on the surface. Jack tries the back gate of the Big Brother house. He finds it open. <laughs> Security is immediately alerted. He's got her out. He's out. Is he? No. Is he? He's out. The dogs will fucking tear him apart. Hey! <laughs> 20 minutes later, security still haven't found Jack. He's not found Jack. He's not found him. 3.43 a.m. Jack is discovered crouching behind a security hut within the Big Brother compound and is immediately returned to the house. There he is. But the Stratford will turn back because it's for comic relief, but I just wanted to get out. Did you climb underneath the fence? I thought I thought you were going to get us a McDonald's. Who goes? You decide. To evict Jack, call 0901 11 55 004. To evict Vanessa, call 0901 11 55 006. Lines are open now. Celebrity Big Brother.